Bobby Fischer was arguably the greatest American chess player of all time, maybe the greatest player to ever play the game. And what he did was he actually battled the Soviets in what can only be considered a political battle. So why does this matter? It doesn't matter today, but in terms of during the Cold War, yeah, it mattered. Bobby Fischer was a really good demonstration of how one person could actually change the momentum of a political front. I just liked it. The, the way he played was great, you know, and, and, and also back then, unlike now, where we have computers and, you know, with all the information and stuff like that, he had to do things the hard way. He did it basically by himself, notebooks, figuring stuff out, and it was him, a lone American, pretty much against uh, uh, the Soviet Union, where the guys just ganged up on him. And he accused, he, he accused the Soviets of cheating a lot, and some people thought he was paranoid about that, but I actually think he was right. I lose horribly, it's sort of an accumulation of mistakes, or maybe getting bored doesn't help, or, uh, or sometimes uh, um, going to watch football during the game, that's probably not a good thing either. You know, it's, it's stuff like that will cause me to lose games more than just a, you know, a horrible uh, move.